All right, hey everybody. So I'm over here at the uh, open house that the uh, BMW dealer of Grand Rapids is having, and I, I'm the last person of the day to take a test ride on the R18, which is right here. See it right here? Oh, it's glory. What a beautiful bike, huh? 1800 cc boxer, air cooled. It's air cooled, right? Or is it a uh, is it transmission? Air and oil. Okay, so it's basically an oil head. Right, not an air head? Okay. All right. A lot of people don't like the pipes, but I think it's because they got the catalytic converters in them. So it's kind of a requirement. I love the forks. So we're going to take it for a ride here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut down the video here for a minute while I get the camera installed and get on the road, and then I'll be back and we'll talk about how well it, uh, how well it handles and what it what it feels like. I want to show a little top view here of it with the controls. So it's got a that old school look to it. It's a big bike. Oh, see how it compares to my R80 slash 7. Ah, do I? Is it a good looking bike? Is it a good looking bike? So I just did 80 miles an hour in third gear at 5,000 RPM. I don't see why you need six gears. <laughs> What's that? I have no idea, but it's got 130 on the speedometer. I would say it, I would say it could do it, because like I said, I was at 5,000 RPM at almost, well, probably over 80, probably more like closer to 90, coming down this stretch. I still have three more gears. It's a very torquey motor. I mean, it's got a lot of power. Yeah, all in, all low range, all low end power. You know, when you twist the throttle, it just goes. You know. <laughs> so yeah, I was just gonna basically go back up the road. I didn't know what happened to you guys. Well, I didn't know where. To now, in a few seconds here, Joe and I are going to end up in an impromptu race from the um, from the stoplight. And uh, he was pretty shocked that he didn't win. And he's on a six-cylinder Valkyrie, and that's a pretty big bike, and it's a pretty powerful bike, too. Um, nothing like a K1600 as far as power goes. I mean, I don't think the RA team would, would, would match a K1600 in terms of overall get up and go. But it's a pretty quick bike, especially like I was saying, I don't, I didn't get out of third gear most of the time. And a few times I was hitting close to 90 and I wasn't over 5,000 RPM on the tack. So it's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of power. I mean, it's, it's got more than you need. And, uh, and it's a nice bike. It's, it's very fast. And it's, it's deceivingly fast because it's such a big, heavy thumper that you don't realize. It's not like it's winding up with a big scream like you'd have on, you know, even a K1600. But watch right here. You'll see how it just goes. I mean, I'm in first gear and I'm doing 50 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, you got 3,000 RPM. It's just crazy. So here's where we have our um, our race, and I think I was at 90, maybe even 95. See, he pulled up a little bit right there. That's when I decided that he wanted to race, and. Um, when I backed off, I was going over 90. That's why I backed off. I mean, it's a residential street, you know. It's <laughs> but it's deceiving. You don't realize you're going that fast because it's just such a big bike. It's got a long, um, a long wheelbase. It's heavy. Um, it, you know, it has a, it has a V-twin feel to it. It reminded me of a Springfield. Uh, if you've ever ridden a, um, a Springfield, it had that same almost seating position and 
the bars were wide you're sitting down inside the bike um, you know you're real low to the ground I mean when I come up the stop or the light I just set my feet out and I'm there it's not like you know having to lean one way or the other or stretch your legs to touch the ground um, but all in all yeah it's um it's a great bike I was obviously I was enjoying it <laughs> Again, you can just see how it just motors right along. If you like, uh, if you like a big Harley or a big Indian like a Roadmaster or a Springfield, you'll love this bike. I mean, this is not BMW esque at all. Um, I mean, it is completely different from any BMW bike I've ever ridden. It really is like an Indian or a Harley. Um, why would you want it? Well, it's very comfortable. It's a great looking bike. Uh, you're not going to beat that 1800cc boxer. I mean, it's a, it's a twin cylinder motorcycle. Um, but it's a big, fast, powerful twin cylinder. You don't have to get no stage 2 or stage 4 or, you know, any of that other stuff to make it perform. It's just right out the gate. It'll set your hair on fire. But it's lumbersome, you know. It's it's not not what you expect from a BMW. A few other thoughts on it while I'm riding down here was. Um, the suspension seemed a little stiff to me, but I'm pretty sure you can adjust it. Uh, it's, it's not on the fly. You have to stop the bike and manually adjust it. I think it's a monoshock. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a monoshock, actually. Um, so with that, I think you'd want to dial it down and make it a little more comfortable. Uh, it's not the kind of bike you're going to take out and do big twisty roads on it's just too big and heavy and it's very low to the ground so um, it doesn't need to be as tight as, as the suspension was and again that I'm pretty sure that it's a default setting and you can make it what you want but I would I would want it to be a little more soft for these kind of streets um, But in the end, it's 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 a great cruising bike, and that's what that's the market I think they're looking to to get at is, is the cruiser market. And if that's the case, then um, then they hit the mark for sure on it. Uh, someone like Joe, Joe loved it, and I'm sure that it's the kind of bike that he would love to own and ride. Um, I would actually. Um, I've been thinking about getting a Springfield, I or even um. Or even the, the new Scout. Uh, I've ridden them and I really like them. Um, so this would be right there in that market. But it's more expensive, obviously, than those as well. I mean, this is like over 20000 for this bike. There we go. There we go. And it, ha it doesn't have bags. It doesn't have FM. It doesn't have Bluetooth. I mean, it's it's a bare-bones, stripped-down bike. Here, I'll Again, my apologies it. for not having this on my helmet. So there you are. Uh, Really, really, really beautiful bike. It's well built. Everything about this bike is beautiful. You know, even the uh, even the exhaust could grow on me. Look at that. Chrome disc brakes. Oh, and the ex that's. Hey, have, have you seen the uh, the drive shaft? Isn't that beautiful? I mean. An exposed drive shaft, and that's probably the the signature piece on this bike. That and those massive, those massive pistons. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. It's fuel injected. It's uh, you know, it's got all the latest state of the art stuff. But uh, it's vibey. It's like a big V twin. It's vibey.
Yeah, and what's funny is when you hit the throttle, it wants to lean to the left. Wow. Yeah, you tell you tell it on itself. Yeah. Well, no, you won't because you got balance on both sides. This is this is torquing to one side. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it really has that that look of the old bike that it was built on. I think it was the R32. I think is the bike that they that they were supposed to kind of kind of. It was an homage to that. Uh, <laughs> and it is fast, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jackie. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the review. Hey, Jack. Hey, Joe. That was first gear, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Crazy. Got to get there.